Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Kyle and today I'll be showing you all how to use Handbrake. Now this is Handbrake version 1.0.7. You can download it from the website here. So if you're like me and you have very slow upload speed, like I have 0.7 upload and you're, you're rendering out all these like 700 megabyte files and you're like, man, dude, that, that's going to suck to upload because I, I'm not good. I don't know why but for some reason when you upload you can't, your like download goes down so like if you want to do other things you pretty much can't so if you're having like a file that's like five hours for upload and you want to use the internet you really can't so you want to get the file size down and i'm sure people have been like okay well can't do 1080p let's just do a 720 and you're like eh, 500 600 megawatts that's still a lot then you're thinking like am i gonna have to just do like 360p or even 40p videos the answer is no i do seven I record in uh, 1080p 60, but then export in 720p 30, which cuts it down a little bit. But then I use this application called Handbrake, which keeps the quality of the video and re-encodes it and can cut the file size over 50%, which is actually insane and it's a lifesaver. So when you open up Handbrake, you should get this little screen that tells you to pick a video. If that doesn't happen, just click open source and I always just have it open a certain file. So this right here is the video I want to re-encode. If I go to properties, I can see the file size right here. It's 403 megabytes. So we're going to select this video and click open. And now we're going to get into the settings. I have made a preset. I recommend you do the same. Um, but we're just going to create a whole new preset. Call it YouTube. Um, set the resolution you want. I do 720p. Obviously do the same as whatever you rendered it as. And this, this is important because when I first started using Handbrake, my audio was messed up. Actually, we can, we can do this later. So you can just leave that all default. Just create a name, hit add preset. I don't know what it defaultly is set at, but I'm just going to set it at fast 1080p 30. Don't do this. Make sure you have um, your user preset selected, but I'm just selecting this so I can get some different options here. So the first thing you want to do is you can see everything up here, your duration, and the source name next thing you want to do is have your destination here so i'm just going to have it be here and this is an actual video i need to do so i'm actually going to call it i usually just call it the same file name but then handbrake at the end so i know when i'm in the youtube page i know which one to select hit save make sure it says dot mp4 i want to leave the containers mp4 always and make sure web optimized is checked now in picture Make sure your width and height, your resolution is the same as the source res resolution. Keep cropping at automatic. And this is where some settings change. You need to have this set to loose. And your model list can stay at two. Filters. You just want off, decomb, off, off, unchecked, zero, default and default. So you pretty sure you don't have to change anything here, but maybe you will video tab keep it at h.264 and frame rate set to same as source with variable frame rate now you want to set this tab to medium and have the encoder tuned to none the encoder profile to auto to auto the encoder level to auto and fast decode off and then check this so set those settings and then check use advanced tab instead now this is really where everything, this is the bread and butter of everything. First I like to check down here and then uncheck these and click up there. But this is where your quality comes in. So if you keep your mouse here for a while, I don't know why it takes so long to pop up, but it should pop up right here. The way this works is the more to the right is the more quality. Zero might even make the video higher and lower lowers the quality more and you kind of want to have like an even point here so you have 0 to 51 i always use 22 um but if you if you read here it says recommended is 18 to 22 so you can do like 20 to 22 something like that then you can raise this i would not go past 25 because honestly 23 or above you might start seeing some quality loss so now on the audio tab this is very important. You don't want these all the same. Well, you want most of them the same, but you don't want them the same for like the Kodak, for example, 
or you might notice that your voice will sound underwater. This happened for a couple of my videos. You need to have the Kodak as MP3 and you need to make sure your bitrate is at the same as what your, your video editor renders at. If it is not, it could make the video sound weird. So I have my, make sure that all three are the same. Make sure your recorder, which I use OBS, is at 160,000 bit rate. Then make sure whatever your editing program is, I use Sony Vegas, make sure that's also at 160. And then make sure that your handbrake is at the same, which for me is 160. And mix down, you have these options here. Make sure you select stereo, so you have audio going through both of the earpieces. Subtitles, I don't change anything here. I don't do anything with chapters. Now the advanced tab. The only thing you should have to change here is reference frames. Set this to four. And then everything else here should be fine. If they're not, just copy them the same as mine. And that's pretty much it. Next, on the right side, right click your user preset and hit update and hit yes. So now every time you open up Handbrake, for one, it should just start up with this open. And if it doesn't, um, like for example this, obviously different. Go down, click a preset, and do that. So now that we have that, I'm gonna select my default um, little preset here and hit start and code. This could take some time depending on your computer. It's gonna take a little bit longer for me than usual because I'm recording. Okay, the encoding has finished and I have the file right here. So this is the original file. I said before, 403 megabytes. Now this is the one I just exported. As you see, it's 129 megabytes. That is over 50% cut. Now if you have any questions or something doesn't work out for you, please leave a comment. I will reply. If I get a lot of questions, I can make another video. Um, if something doesn't work out, I can try to clarify something by replying to you. I'll try to reply as soon as I can. But once again, just leave it down in the comments below. And if this video helped you out or fixed any of your issues, like for example the audio thing, and that's a really big thing um, that really happened to me. Just make sure it's MP3 in the same bit rate. So uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. If it did help you out and you did enjoy it, please leave a like. It really means a lot to me. Share this video with your friends if you have any friends that are getting into YouTube and they have maybe some slower internet or they just want to save some space on their computer. This is a great video to hand them out to them. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.